Hey friends, Dr. Charlie Way here, your leading expert on natural pain management and other chronic disease. Here today to talk to you about having a baby with sickle cell disease and the steps you can take to make sure the baby has a happy and healthy life. Breastfeeding is huge. Breastfeeding is the most fundamental thing that I tell most parents to actually do. Especially the fact that we know from research that in breast milk itself, the immunity of the child can actually be increased up to 130%. So with sickle cell, we already know that the immune system is going to be compromised. But by breastfeeding for at least three to six months, we've seen from research that the immunity rate has actually almost you know doubled. So that's a phenomenal thing. So breastfeeding is definitely one way to go. Also within that breast milk, you have other phytonutrients that actually help the body out uh, absorb other nutrients that the, the baby would need. Case in point, the gut. There's different trace markers that sort of tell the gut to be able to now accept other nutrients. So of course, for the first three months, you're only feeding the baby milk or your, or your own breast milk. So all those nutrients are actually helping the gut to be able to absorb and have a healthy gut life. And as we said over and over again, the majority of immunity is located where? In our gut, not anywhere else in the body, but in our gut. So if the baby has a healthy gut from the breast milk, you're ensuring that the immunity is gonna also increase as well. Yeah, especially if mom is actually eating properly and taking her prenatal vitamins still, she, everything that you're eating, you'll be having your baby ingest that as well. So the healthier you are, the healthier the baby is going to be short term and also long term. From the research, we also see that uh, most kids with sickle cell disease excrete out a lot of zinc and other little trace minerals. I would say you can actually supplement a little bit with um, trace mineral of zinc and maybe also uh, um, copper as well. These usually are mixed together. The other thing you can do is as the child gets older and start to have more of a uh, solid food diet and you want to start introducing different foods, what you want to do is things that have lots of good oils or things that you've seen that's been researched that's really good for um, kids with sickle cell disease. I say start with like pumpkin, you know, different squashes, um, maybe a uh, sweet potato, things like that, but definitely avocado. Um, you want to do um, different fruits as well that are high in phytonutrients that's going to allow the child to be able to absorb uh, different nutrients and also help the brain stem. Back to the, um, the breast uh, milk as well, it's also been shown that by breastfeeding you actually allow the, the brain to actually develop a lot faster and kids that have breastfed tend to have about 30% more uh, higher IQ than kids who have not as well. So that's a good way for your kid to have a little bit more intelligence and also make sure the brain's functioning better too. But those foods that have high in oils, that are high in oils, is going to actually help the body to, again, increase the immunity, absorb more nutrients, but also make sure that the nervous system and also the vascular system would be strong and healthy as well. Lastly, if you need to supplement with anything, I always tell patients to make sure it's from a natural source. Um, I'm a huge fan of natural vitamins. Uh, Mega Foods has some, some good brands and things like that. So in a few other brands that are, are natural and whole, and when I say natural and whole, they're not synthetic. You want to have at least synthetic things inside of your baby to make sure they have the best health possible. The last one is going to be hydration. What do you hydrate with? Of course the breast milk, but you don't want any sugary drinks at all. At the very, very uh, most, I'll say water, but make sure the water is a good water, coconut water, things of that sort, to make sure that again, everything that they're ingesting has plenty of electrolytes and plenty, plenty, plenty of nutrients that's going to increase the immunity of the child as well as the health risk and lower the health risk of the child as well. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Charlie Ware, your leading expert on natural pain management and other chronic disease. Talk to you soon.